Hello. This is not a live stream. My computer couldn't handle this game and streaming at the same time. So the, the VOD ended up looking really, really choppy. So I decided, you know what? I'll just play it offline and upload this. Now that I have a bit better of an idea of what to do, I can probably give you some information that the tutorial elements don't. So let's get right into it. What do you say? Here goes. So I'm playing with mouse and keyboard because that's my preference, but there is controller support, of course. Didn't recognize my old Logitech joystick, but I'll keep that for TIE Fighter. Okay, so this is the dashboard and display. So a lot of these elements are selectable, but right now the first thing we have to do, we, we can't select any of these. First thing we have to do is get out of our comfortable chair and address those alarms that we're hearing. So uh, I can't see it right now, but on the dash you'll see notifications just like you would on your car and they give you an idea of what to do now the game doesn't really make that obvious for you but i'll show you where to find the information that you're looking for um how to find the systems how to troubleshoot them as far as i know anyway there may be better ways of doing this this isn't the source for all the information but just from my playthrough so we're going to put on our spacesuit open the door Oh, wait, we have to close the door first. And then depressurize. And we're outside. What a nice sunny day. There it is. There's the sun, I think. Nope, there it is. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. So, using WASD to move. Space to go up. And then Q and E to roll. Now, if you're right in front of these hull breaches, it'll blow you away. So it's best to come at it from the side because if I'm in front, watch what happens. It pushes me away and makes the repair more of a pain in the ass. So come at it from the side. And just click and hold. And that's it. Again, coming at it from the side. And there you go. The one thing I did find weird was that you can't just, uh, there is some friction elements when you're moving. See how I'm slowing down? I'm in space. I should keep going until there's some other force that acts on me, but I don't know if that's, see, I had this theory that I thought was kind of fun. And it would be cool if this was in the game. Maybe this isn't a mistake. Maybe the suit that you're wearing is designed to have a counteracting force, a slight counteracting force. So that way you don't end up flying off into space with, without any, you know, spacesuit juice to get you back. That would be one possibility. I don't know why I thought of it, but anyway. Now we can drive the truck, but before we do that, Let's have a quick look around. So this is your circuit breaker. I'm not kidding. That's exactly what it is. So we can't select anything right now because we're not that far in the demo yet, but these are your systems and you will need to, um, sometimes replace components of them, uh, power cells, whatever, so that they'll run. And considering the importance of some of these, like, oh, I don't know, oxygen generator. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize I was still wearing the suit. That was a low air warning. It's at 48%. When you put it back, assuming that this system is charged and working, it will automatically recharge. See, we're seeing the numbers go up. 
So yeah, circuit breaker. So apparently we have an alarm on our shock shielding, which I'm not, I don't remember where that system is because they're not all in one spot. They're all over the place. See these symbols? This will give you an indication of which system, uh, of the matching system. So mag lock controls, it basically looks like a, a log with an inverted triangle. So let's find it. And you're just looking for these symbols, basically. That one is, no, that is it. Yeah, a little lock with a, I think an inverted triangle. I'm pretty sure this is it. And those yellow stickers basically just show you where each system is. So this is oxygen generation. This is climate control. This is obviously for the spacesuit, for the charger. And then there's, because this is one thing that the game didn't tell you. I can't do it yet, but you can actually lift the stairs and access another system under there. That's where the gravity generator is. So it didn't tell me that you could do this. And I just happened to be pointing at it and then it highlighted it and said, lift the stairs. I'm like, oh, then again, I also didn't see this, but I don't always think to look down at the floor when I'm playing these games. I don't know about you, unless I'm stuck in a room and I'm like, crap, I need to find some way to get out of here. Better look at everything. These are core power, I believe in here. Is that all of the systems? Oh yeah, we also have air filters, two here and two here. And we do have some spare supplies down below because we will have to deal with that. In fact, when I was playing this on stream, I died uh, because, what was it? Why did I die? Oh, I died, I froze to death. Yeah, I, <laughs> we'll get to this, but I was trying to repair something and I made it worse by basically causing the whole ship to crash. And uh, then climate control was one of the systems. And so I froze to death. So that was interesting. Didn't know that would happen. The game does warn you, if you don't take care of your systems, it may lead to a lot of issues and death. So there is that. Okay, so now let's do some driving. So press space to accelerate using the main thrusters. To brake and reverse, press shift. Use WASD to fire maneuvering thrusters and turn the truck. Use Q and E to roll, so just like when you're doing your EVAs. Switch to an external view by pressing C, which is handy for certain activities, and we'll get to that. All right, so we're heading towards a gate, but while we're doing that, I'm just going to keep it at about this speed. Let's look at our HUD here. So we've got, oh, we've got a radio. Let's turn that. I think we've only got the one station. We can't change it, but that's fine. It's a demo. We've got a radio here, a CB, and we've got a couple of different display panels. This one is showing our trailer status. So we've got clothes packs. And what else we got? So we can switch channels and have a different look at certain parts of the truck. So our hull, status, system diagnostics, shock shielding is showing a malfunction. Whoa. Right. We're gonna jump in a minute and some camera views as well as a rear view, but it's not coming up just yet. Same thing on here, different panels you can go through. That'll give you status information, different camera views and so on and so forth. So right now we're in front of the gate and the gate's ready to go. We've got three green lights on either side and let's punch it. Go. This is Galactic B calling in from the DIV. Glad to see you finally made it. We 
we've already got his drop zone warmed up and waiting for you. So just head on over to the waypoint, detach your trailer in the designated area, and I'll make sure your payment gets processed ASAP. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not see that guy. That would have been a traffic violation. I would have gotten fined. And it would have taken money off of my um, my shipping fee. So drop zones. Drive your cargo to its designated drop zone to complete a haulage contract. The drop zone will change color to indicate the trailer is within the safe area. So let's do that. And this is one of the areas where at least I find switching camera view to be really helpful. And I'm coming in low. So let's slow down a little bit. And try and align ourselves. Okay, so we're straight here. Turn in a little bit. There we go. Not gonna scrape anywhere. And there we go. So status is green. We gotta stop. And here's how we detach. So we have to turn off our truck's magnetic lock system. I'll show you where that is in a second. Well, it's right there. It shows you. To unhitch from trailers. This can be done by using the mag lock lever inside the cab. Make sure the entire trailer comes to a stop within the highlighted area or you won't get paid. Okay, so now we're stopped, and still green, so we just unhitch. So we delivered our clothes packs, we made 500 bucks, plus a $100 bonus for careful driving. No experience for that, okay. And $9 for an early delivery. I was talking a lot, that's why that wasn't higher. Anywho. So we got 900 out of 1000, then we go up to level two, which we'll complete with our next shipment. So let's go do that. Okay, so now let's get ourselves. Ugh. All right, well, we have to go over to Palmview Station. Break for barrel, break for barrel. This is Red Eddie cooking good out here. This is Barrow. Go ahead. What can I do for you, mate? I'm looking for info on the express gates. Last I heard it was a parking lot out there. Oh, nowhere in the galaxy you hear that. Clear out here as far as the eye can see. Okay, so we do have a CB radio. It's in the top right corner. Now we can use it. The only issue is that while you're using it, you can't navigate, which is a bit of an issue. So, and we've also got a little bar underneath the dialogue in the top. It gives us an idea of how long we need to, uh, how long we have to respond. Well, you can steer, you can steer, but you can't control your throttle at all. You can't gas or brake. Um, no. Well, we got a low power warning. Power levels seem low or exhausted for one or more of your truck systems. 
Be sure to replace power cells at regular intervals to prevent system failures, job delays, and death. And I would take that one seriously. <laughs> it's pretty easy to die in this game. I didn't think it would be for a truck sim, but this is space truck sim. This is Star Trucker. All right. Okay, now we get to commence docking procedures. Now I go about this really carefully because I want to, that's my style. So I'm going to go real slow. Use the docking camera to align your truck with the docking bay. Maneuver close enough and the maglock six systems will become available. When you're in position, pull the maglock lever to lock with the target. Now it doesn't tell you, but it's usually like between two to three meters so you do have to get pretty close. And this is the same for when you're, tri uh, when you're hitching to a load of goods as well. well let's slow down. Because we're coming in hot. Whoop, overcompensated. There we go, Whoa. And there we go. So now, that door will open to reveal the docking ring. And we've got our camera here. So let's align. And then let's reverse. And watch the meters in the bottom here. It'll tell you when you can hitch. So close. Almost. 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 There we are. So two and a half meters. Job boards. Job boards provide a list of contracts available in the local area. As you earn certification skills, the list will expand, giving you access to new job types and cargo to haul. Keep in mind that bonuses and deductions will differ between job types, and harsh penalties will be issued for abandoning hauls or canceling a jobs. A jobs. <laughs> so, uh, we can sort by expiry, distance, or payout. So we have a little bit of information here on the type of load. This is a rush job, which is why it pays out more. How much time do we have? So we only have one jumps expected by February 8th, 1946. So this is at 746 and 715. So I need to get that there in a half an hour. Uh, let's start a little bit easier. Well, hang on a second. Let's read this. It pays out 300. And it's expected by the same time. Wait a minute. They're all expected by the same time. So how is this a rush? And these ones aren't. Well, screw it. I'm going to go with this one then. Okay. So while we're doing that, while we're waiting, while well, we're not waiting, but... I want to take care of that gravity power cell first. So you remember, yeah, uh, you remember earlier I mentioned that you can lift the stairs and access the power cell. One thing I did learn is you have to shut off the system first. And the gravity, I mean, I can just show you what happens if you don't. Oh. What? Oh. Is it because I'm hooked up to the station? Because I swear before I changed... I changed something. 
I just took the power cell out without shutting it off on the circuit breaker and my whole ship just died. But I wasn't hooked up to a station, so I wonder if that's the difference. Anyway, that's done. Let's get back in our comfortable seat. And we look at our panel to the right and we can see gravity is all the way up. So core is 28%. I don't know, we'll see if that's enough. Anyway, let's disengage. And our cargo is over there, so let's let's go. And we do have to be mindful of other drivers, because I've had a few collisions here because nobody seems to give a crap how to drive. I got horribly rear-ended. I had to... Um, I was... Uh, in, in the demo, I was playing earlier. I had to stop for an inspection. Hitching to trailer, switch to your docking camera and approach carefully. Once you are within range and aligned correctly, use your maglock lever to hitch to the trailer. So just like hitching to a station. But I passed through a gate and I had to um, stop for an inspection. Or I was being inspected. They didn't say stop. They just said that they were being inspected. But I thought, oh, I should probably stop for this. And it turns out stopping right in front of a gate was a terrible idea. Because I had some other truck horribly rear-end me. Caused multiple hull breaches, damaged my cargo. It was, it was not a good time. Okay, let's go out a little bit more. And... Yeah, that'll be good enough. There we go. Whoa, 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 too fast, too fast. All right, we got our cargo. Where the hell are we going now? And we have to go to Sector Onyx, which is over there. Now, I have to find the right lane here that will take me to Onyx Station. Might be this one. Hang on a second. I do want to check something because apparently you do have a map, but I don't know what key it is. Um... Oh. Okay. I can't get to the keyboard. Okay, so I can't change my key bindings. Um... Well, let's go anyway. Let's. I may need to take this route to get there. But this is just some trial and error. So. How far away is that? Oh, it's like six kilometers. I forgot to use freedom units. <laughs> The music's all right. I kind of like it. It's not what I usually listen to, but it helps to create an atmosphere. And actually don't mind it. At, at worst, it's inoffensive. At best, it's actually pretty good. Like this song we're listening to, I should kind of like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do 
I feel like I am drifting? I think I'm driving a little reckless. Passing under everybody. Alright, now let's have a look outside and see where we're, how we're supposed to get there. Oh, that's the gate. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I have to stop, 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 stop. Yeah, okay, so this actually gives me an opportunity to show you guys something. This indicator that you see right here, this guy, that's your collision warning. And as soon as you go outside of those lanes, you see a lot of them, so it is possible to navigate through, but it's... It's challenging. Why am I going in reverse? It is possible to navigate through, but it's... You really have to know the dimensions of your vehicle. Just like in real life. So let's start to pull up here. Because we have to uh, align ourselves somewhat with the gate. Whoa, I did not see that dude. Jump gate alignment. Stop your truck at a suitable distance and the jump gate will power up. If you're having trouble... Make sure you are facing towards the gate and use the stop signs to align yourself. Remember, gates between zones and some sectors will stay inactive until you get the clearance from DIV. Shit. Uh, I had a collision. Okay, okay, what happened? Any breaches? No. Okay. All right, all right. We can save this. We can salvage this. All right. Let's go down a bit. Hopefully this is good enough. Okay, it's lighting up. Hmm. What's wrong? It's not letting me through. Okay. So if you're not getting all three yellow lights, followed by all three green lights, check to make sure that you're aligned properly. Clearly, I was off by some means. I don't know what. All right. We're here at Onyx Station. Where are we dropping our cargo? I guess it's where that star is. Can't really see, but there's space lanes leading to it. So let's get on the highway. Yeah, there's our drop zone. I wonder if I can use these to actually right forward. If I can use these as mirrors. Yeah, that's not bad. It gives me a that's a front facing camera though.
something else. Ah, there we go. So you can set those up however you want. Now I have a rear view camera. I wish I had one that showed me above and below. Wait a minute. <gasps> shit. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> I panicked. Because I missed my turn. I was about to go through the other gate mindlessly because I was just enjoying the drive. And I drove right past the drop zone. And because I don't have complete mastery over these controls yet, pretty damn far from it, when I panicked, I did something stupid. All right. Let's slow up a little bit here. Okay. So we've got our tunnel there. Ooh, debris, 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 debris. Maybe this is not the best idea. Let's just proceed carefully. Tight fit. You can't stop the weight of your choices. You can't stop the crumble of your plans. There we go. You won't stop the wave that washes all your Oh, <laughs> we got a couple of infractions here. Huh. Careless driving, two hundred thirty one. Damaged client property. We did? Oh, huh. whoops. Might have been from that fender bender. So, I mean, we still made 500 bucks. It's not horrible. And we leveled up. So I don't know for sure, but I think this caters to different play styles. Because on this side, you have fast and risky. Those are for just-in-time jobs, perishable goods, hazardous loads, things like that. Uh, there are also some general improvements that you can get that aid with things like allowing you to have multiple trailers, um, better efficiency for EVA, and so on and so forth. And then on the right side, we have safe and sound. So long distance jobs, generally less risky, I suppose. So if you play this game more to just relax, the right side may be better for you. But then again, I'm sure you can mix and match however you choose so we have let's go with just in time jobs just in time jobs just in time is an inventory management method in which goods are received from suppliers only as they are needed arrive too early and the drop location will not be ready for you arrive too late and you'll hold up future deliveries and incur a deduction by planning maintenance fuel stops and other day-to-day -day activities around just in time jobs you will be able to maintain minimal downtime between jobs. So, uh, probably shouldn't have chosen this one. My time management skills are, how do you say, crap. Spend one skill point to unlock the selected skill. Actually, you know what, let's go with fragile. And we get to learn a little bit about this. 
As the name implies, these loads are delicate, and any damage to the cargo will result in substantial deductions upon job completion. However, fragile loads are a great moneymaker for careful drivers with a nice bonus for cargo delivered in pristine condition. Each level of certification will give you access to increasingly delicate cargo types. So, if you're driving this daisy, we go with that one. Okay, so now let's go to the station. Let's figure out... Oh, Tab. Tab is the key that does it. Okay. So let's go to Atlas Prime. Well, we can select it. I guess that highlights it. Hmm. Interesting. So this gives us a little bit of information about the local prices. I don't know how that plays in. I, I suppose you can buy food and drink here because the price is lower and sell it elsewhere? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what this means yet. All of the local price information. Temperature, traffic, security. So we do have those statistics to look at as well. Narcotics and tobacco. Are they banned substances? Like you can't sell them here? Hmm. I wish I knew what this meant. I don't have any idea yet. I'm reasonably sure that's what it is, but... I don't know. But anyway... Let's have a look about and see where we need to go. So is there no station in the system? I guess not. Let's go to Atlas Prime then. And figure out how to merge onto this highway. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's probably not how you do it. <laughs> I'm a much better driver in real life, I promise. Oh, shoot. That's really low. I need to change that right now. Uh, I'll change it once we go through the gate. There we go. pull off here all right let's stop right here I think we're far enough from the gate that no one's gonna railroad me yeah that should give them enough room all right let us check on the core power hatch here so we can actually change these out one at a time which I think is probably the best way to do it I don't want to find out what happens if you don't okay so we have power cells here let's take this guy I mean we could find out yeah you know what sure I know you can change one out at a time Oh, this one died. So what's going on here? So core systems are offline, but everything else is still working. Hmm. So I ran out of gas. 
But the battery is still good, I guess. So nothing works. Can't drive yet. Okay. So that's what happens when our core systems go offline. I don't know if these can be recharged or what to do with these. Oops. Wait a minute. Didn't I bring two up here? There it is. Okay. Let me close the hatch. Uh, I guess we'll just put this on a shelf. All right. Here. Core systems are up. back up to 100%. Oxygen's the next one to watch for. All right, let's go to this terminal. There's a paint and ride place. Fuel places. There's a pretty busy system. this so two and a half is the special number there we go You should have seen the first time I tried to do this. It was a bloody disaster. Okay, so do we have any Ragil, any Fragile orders? No. Same, they're all expected by the same time. So let's just pick the shortest one. Four and a half IS or LS? I don't know what that is. And it pays a thousand bucks. Sure. Nobody ever reads contracts anyway. All right. So how's my fuel? Still got a quarter tank. And I've got to go to Medusa 6, which is where? Up there. Which is 6,000 miles away. Wait, is that right? 6,000 miles? Or 6,000, almost 7,000 meters. It's hard to read. Anyway, far. It's far. Oh, wait. <laughs> so, I didn't unhitch. Try to take the station with me. So we've got uh, two different lanes we can go. This one goes up and over to the left. I'm thinking this is the one we take to Medusa 6. Yeah, that says Medusa 6. I don't know what that indicator is. That red snowflake one. You can actually turn off your lights, too. I'm trying to do that while, while turning it. Oh, shit. What did I do? Looks like you just received a penalty for a driving offense. 
Penalties vary in severity based on the offense committed. This includes careless driving, collisions, and failure to engage with authorities in an appropriate manner. Oops. Well, now we have to see if we have any hull breaches. Oh, shoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, let's straighten ourselves out. And we're low on fuel. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's, uh... Maybe I was driving too close to the pylons. All right, well, it's EBA time. Actually, can we get some information from... Uh, from the truck status? Was it on here or was it on here? Ah, here it is. So we've got one hull breach, and our hull's at 53.2%. Alright, well, let's fix that breach. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. There we go. Again, we want to come at it from the side. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe I should just stay where there's ground under me. Maybe I'm not cut out for star trucking. Put the suit back. Alright. Where is... Okay, so there's a fuel depot. Over there. handy thing is you get an idea of how far you can go with the fuel that you have. So we can go another five kilometers. Okay, let's dip out. Okay, so just like when you're dropping off shipments and stuff, you gotta align yourself in those purple spaces. on the highway. Where is the highway? There it is. Okay, well, we're almost there anyhow.
We just have to watch out for some debris. start to align ourselves with the gate. Uh, I'm a little off to the right. So we gotta go pick up our cargo over here. I could see myself sinking a lot of time into this. Just using this as a uh, chill game. I know some people will probably be bored to tears by this. I don't think I'm one of those people. Some areas that are locked here. Cosmos, Cash, and Carry. Job board. Fuel depot. Gamma Valley we can't get to. I don't know if it's locked because it's a demo or if we're just, for some other reason, not permitted to go. So the, the debris warning will go red if I'm guessing it's... Uh-oh. It'll go red if you're really close to reaching your hole, which I just did. Uh, all right, another EVA. Point defense lasers would really come in handy. Where are we? Oh, we got two. Now my hull condition's at 42%. I wonder if where I can get that fixed, number one. And number two, what happens if it what happens if it drops even lower? Maybe I'll lose my license. Oh, it looks pretty rough. I mean Yeah, no, that does look pretty rough. Eesh. I'd have to go and do my license all over again. Go through driving testing. I remember games like that, uh, racing games like that. I think, is that uh, Gran Turismo? I'm, I haven't played a Gran Turismo game in a long time, but I remember way back when you had to, we well, didn't have to, but you could um, go through license training and whatnot and get all the way up to like an S-Class license. It'd be neat if he had to go through licensing to become a Star Trekker. And who knows, you might. It may be part of the tutorial. I kind of hope it is. I like 
I like when games do that, when they have a tutorial that is actually part of the game and it feels organic enough. Not just, this is the tutorial mode. Press these buttons to do this. Where, you know, you actually have somebody with a personality talking to you as if you are, you know, actually training. I think that'd be cool. far away. to Atlas Prime, which is over there. Let's have a look here. Hmm. I think, judging by all of the trails there, there's a way onto that highway over here through the business park. Said debris coming right at us. Oxygen's at twenty five percent. Have to keep an eye out for that. So, yeah, space lanes are so much more handy. Yeah, there's other trucks and pylons you have to drive through. But no asteroids, no space debris. situated here for once <laughs> slow up a bit and just get right behind this guy So, again, in this old life, you need your friend. 
There we go. So it does take a little bit of getting used to aligning yourself with like gates and mag locks and stuff like that, but it's not not terribly difficult. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit further from the gate. <laughs> so, last time that happened, um, I, I stopped by the gate because you're supposed to stop for an inspection, right? You, you would think. And uh, someone came right through after me. trying to figure out which road to take here. That leads right down. You know what? I'm going to go through this lane because it looks like it goes right down to where my drop-off spot is. So, And I don't really feel like dealing with debris. I wonder if there's going to be any sort of story element to this, even if it's just a loose framework that allows you to roleplay in. I don't know if I need that, personally, for a game like this. I just don't know what the intention is. that oh you know what we'll have to see it on the way back looks like a point of interest maybe some salvage like in uh, black flag assassin's creed black flag when you're out on the ocean and you sometimes see debris and stuff i think i remember i i'm pretty sure that's an element of it slow down here because there's a lot of traffic. Okay. I think I'm good now. Wait, whoa, 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 shit, 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 shit. That was weird. Why wasn't that responding? Okay, so I don't know what happened there, but the controls didn't respond. And I couldn't slow down unless I was... Oh, boy. bad. Oh, 
Oh, and I knocked that all the way over there. I don't want to see how much money I end up with after this. I don't know what the hell happened. Maybe I screwed something up. I have had that issue before where playing this game, I've just completely lost control of all of the controls. I couldn't do anything. And it's almost like the throttle was stuck there. Ah, I don't know. I made zero dollars. Actually, should have lost money on that. And I somehow leveled up for it. All right. Uh, how's our hull doing? Oh. Oh, crap. We got multiple hull breaches. How is this thing even space worthy? Nope. Oxygen levels in your cab seem low. Make sure your oxygen generator is operational. Air filters are in good working order, or good working condition, and that any hull breaches have been patched. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm working on that game. gotten pretty good at fixing hull breaches, but that's only because I've had a fair amount of practice. Okay. So we should probably also make sure that our, oh yeah, I have to open the door. So I know it said our oxygen system is low. Let's have a look at it. Oh, gravity's at 19? Hmm. Okay, well... Let's go take care of that now. Okay, so first of all, you know what? <laughs> I turned the lights off. Let's... Turn them back on. Click, click. And I'm still wearing my suit. Although that may not be a bad idea because I have to deal with... Oh, the climate regulator as well. Hmm. Okay. Where the hell's the climate... Oh, shoot. Okay, let's take the suit off for a second. Let this charge for a bit. Find where we need. Okay, so we need a UCC. I don't know exactly what that stands for, but it seems important. Uh, where's a UCC? Workwear carton? Okay. Anything in here? Uh, pack of soda. All right. useless boxes this is just a plastic tub okay power cell oh this is a depleted one oh 
let's put it up there. This is something useful. Uh, air filters. We do not need air filters right now. I wish I could crouch. Is there any way? Oh, okay. Uh, ah, these look like what we need. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'm not going to do anything with it yet. Because, um, well, hang on a second. Let me just see if it'll happen this time. Let me pull this out. Yeah, okay. It looks like your cab circuit breaker has been tripped. This is likely the result of an EMP. So there's EMPs in this game. Or the incorrect removal of a UCC while a system was still active. Trip systems will stay offline until they are manually reset at the circuit breaker. So, we can put the new one in. But, it, nothing will come online yet. Everything is off. So where's the... Oh yeah, so we have to just turn everything back on. Yep, okay. So that's back online. Cool. What was the other one that we needed to do? We needed oxygen and gravity. Okay, so we need... Is this a full one? Okay, so we need a power cell. So I think I made a mistake earlier when I said if you change the power cells, that'll cause the, the ship to crash. No, I think it's just the UCCs. That you actually have to um, shut the system off first then do it. So let's raise the stairs. Let's pull that. Oh, sh yeah, now we have no gravity. So we're floating around. And where's the oxygen system? What's this? I don't know what this is. Looked important. Ah, if I could, f I mean, I suppose I could follow the wires. Not really. Uh, well, wait, I saw it earlier, isn't it? Up here? Yeah, okay. So let's switch out the power system, or the power cell. go so I don't know what to do with all the rest of this crap there's if there's a way to charge these I don't know Gold Rock Radio. Radio. Ah, let's leave it here <laughs> and put the suit away I mean that's a, I suppose that's one precaution you could take if you're concerned about um, a, a breakdown like that if you're concerned about tripping the circuit breakers you can put on your suit and then do repairs I saw something blinking on the left screen here hull integrity critical cool that's great uh, where do we want to go well we can go to the new liberty terminal right behind us so we're disengaged. Okay. Cool. I do wonder, like, what happens when your when your hull condition is critical like mine, where I don't know what happens if I take another hit. That's one thing that bugs me. When I try to roll left, the other engine should be the one coming on. On the top, I think. I don't know why it, it goes away that it does. Either way, let's dock. Alright. 
Yeah, see, I... Sometimes the controls just don't respond. Which, I mean, if it happened more often, it would get more annoying more quickly. But it doesn't happen that often, thankfully. It's just sometimes if the if the timing is terrible, you smash into a, a docking area and you lose all your money. Oh, so we do have some fragile ones here. <laughs> sure, let's uh, oh, liquid crystal LCDs. We're delivering screens. Okay, this is like a thousand years in the future, and they still have LCDs. Okay. Um, why not? So we have to pick them up from Bay PVS2, which is where? Which is seven kilometers that way. All right. Well, it looks like we've got space lanes. Music hasn't really changed all that much in a thousand years. view a lot more just because I can see more around this ship. I mean, I like having the display and I like having all of the notifications, but at the same time, it just gives me so uh, such a limited view of what's going on around. And because it can be kind of chaotic, you're not really adhering to a regular road like you were in, you know, like you would in American Truck Sim or Euro Truck Sim. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Oh shit, I'm gonna smash into that sign. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. I got a minor fine for that. Uh, get any hull breaches? Oh, damn, it's another hull breach. Uh, all right, all right, all right. The, how is this thing still driving? <laughs> Sorry. I thought I was going to get, like, stopped dead by that sign, not just go right through it. Ah, uh, three long breaches. Let's see how quickly we can deal with these. What? How am I careless driving? I'm not even... Oh, the sign! The sign hit me again. And then I got another careless driving. Um, fine. Because there's the sign. It's right there. It's just floating away. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah, that was an unexpected laugh. Thank you. Thank you, game. Well done. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Oh, that gave me even more hall breaches. Damn it. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. I wonder if that's if that's what happens when your hull condition is critical. Like, any little bit of damage that you take is much, much, much worse. It's like in Smash Brothers. The more damage you take, the easier it is for you to go flying when somebody actually hits you with something. Man, I miss that game. All right. Uh. Oh, sorry. I'm still laughing about that. That was pretty funny. Oh, wait. I keep forgetting to do this. Try this again. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's where it landed. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is six again. Where's that? Where is it? Hang on a second. I guess that's it. Okay, it's up there. Now, how do we get there? There's a lane up here. All right. I'm wondering now if those guys gave me the name Lucky J, ironically. If they were just saying, oh, this truck driver is crap. Let's give him a name that kind of absurd. coming in under. And not smash through the sign this time if we can help it. This is one of my favorite songs on this, on Gold Rock Radio. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Do your thing. Here we go. So, we're going to drop off our cargo where? Over there. 5,000 kilometers, or 5,000 5, meters away. I don't remember changing the units of measure to metric, though. Because the first time I played this, everything was in miles. Freedom units. Still never found out what this was, the gravity, sh or was it the shock shielding or whatever? Never found out what that was, or even where it was. me or has the has my windshield gotten really dirty I'm gonna go back afterwards I'm gonna watch over this and I just want to see if there's a difference between when I started and now I don't know if I just noticed it now if it's if it's gotten that way progressively or if it's always been that way perfect delivery here. Again, zero dollars, careless driving. <laughs> but that's it. That's the demo. We hope you enjoyed these initial steps on the journey to becoming a fully certified Star Trucker. If you like this first glimpse of our ambitious new game, be sure to wishlist Star Trucker on Steam and follow us on social media for the latest news, updates, and feature reveals. 1010 till we do it again. Dave and Dan, Monster and Monster. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I need I need to work on it a little bit. But it's a lot of fun. There's no firm release date on this game yet. It is slated to come out in 2024. And the developers are still active. They do have a dev blog that they do update regularly on their Steam page. So check it out. Check out the demo. And try it yourself as well. And if you play it, let me know what you think. Well, until then... You have a good one, and just keep it simple. So long.